These tornadoes are ripping through the Midwest have captured the attention of, of course, freshman uh, Democratic Socialist Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is blaming them all on climate change. She writes on Instagram, we do know that tornadoes have been changing. They are no longer being limited to the Great Plains and are shifting to other regions of the country. The climate crisis is real, y'all. Guess we're at casual tornadoes in growing regions of the country. I have no idea what that means, casual tornadoes. And I lived in Kansas and know a thing or two about tornadoes. Okay, so th there's just one problem with what she said. A prominent meteorologist very publicly corrected AOC, quote, the congresswoman does not know the difference between weather and climate. Let's try an easy analogy. Weather is what outfit you wear heading out the door. Climate is your closet wardrobe. Congress hard at work with AOC in charge. Joining me now is economist Ben Stein. Ben, great to see you. You know, I, I watched her YouTube video, this whole thing, and I, I, she came across like a junior high school student who saw her first, you know, rain cloud. Um, and it's easy to dismiss AOC as young, but that would be an insult to young people, wouldn't it? Well, there are a lot of very intelligent young people, a lot of very well-educated young people. She just doesn't happen to be one of them. She, I mean, this is a woman who is just unable to connect the dots. How can you possibly, first of all, say, call a tornado a casual thing? And by the way, there have been tornadoes all over the East Coast for many, many years. I can remember growing up in Maryland, there were occasional tornadoes, even in Maryland and even in Virginia, even in Delaware. Uh, are those Joe Biden's fault? I, I, I don't know. But uh, the idea that something is a casual tornado that somehow is connected with Donald Trump, it just doesn't add up. The, the, the dots just don't connect here. There's something wrong with this woman's thought processes. I mean, she's a genius self-publicist. Genius. Right. But uh, other than that, I don't know what she's doing there. Well, it, it, you know, Ben, it's all part of her new green deal with a price tag of $93 trillion. Uh, um, w which would send our debts and deficits in the economy into free fall and oblivion. Um, but she dismisses that cavalierly. You know, for somebody who got an economics degree, um, she strikes me as economically illiterate. Illiterate is putting it mildly. I'd say purposely confusing and uh, purposely infuriating is more like it. I don't, I don't believe for a minute she studied one bit of what would be called real economics, like Adam Smith or even Karl Marx. I don't think she knows a thing about, about economics. If she did, why would she be saying that tornadoes are casually caused by climate change when she doesn't know what climate change even is? And, and by the way, it isn't quite clear what climate change has to do with the tornadoes. We don't know exactly how a tornado right. is made. We well, know she knows. Pretty, well, pretty well, but not exactly. Yeah. She certainly doesn't know. Well, I mean, she's all about free stuff, you know, uh, free college tuition. Um, yes, you free know, free tornadoes. Yeah, free housing, free everything. Um, she does not realize something that was... I think the first thing I learned in economics class, and there's no such thing as, as free. Prosperity does not derive from government handouts. There's no such thing as a free lunch, and there's no such thing as a free $93 trillion price tag, uh, Medicare for all uh, price, uh, price free, there's no price thing. There's no such thing as free, uh, free education for everyone. There's no such thing as free everything for everyone. She's just a living in a dreamland, and yet, amazingly, she has followers. She has followers who actually believe in this. She's like the kid in fifth grade who's running for class president. She says, I'm going to, in fifth grade, we're all going to get straight A's. We're all going to have pizza every day for lunch. And the kids actually believe her, and maybe she's going to get it. I mean, yeah. I mean, she, she is, in effect, the re leader of the Democratic Party on Capitol Hill now. And it's just out of all fantasies, just out of yeah. blown-up fantasies. Okay. Yeah, free markets and capitalism is what reduces poverty, not socialism. Just ask anybody in Venezuela. Ben Stein, always great to see you. Have a great weekend. Thank you.